thumb drive, jump drive, memory stick, USB flash drives have gone by a lot of different names and there's no shortage of unique designs. But how are they made and how can you get your own custom design? Today we're visiting a factory that can produce up to 2 million of these a month, which is good news for me because I've lost more of these things than I can count. Hey everyone, I'm Mitch from VTrust Inspection Service. Welcome back to Factory Asia, where we audit and showcase excellent factories around China. Today, we're at Shenzhen Yusky Technology Company in Shenzhen, Southern China. We're going to see how they make high quality USB drives for Europe and North America, and also offer amazing possibilities for unique custom designs. Let's get started. Yusky Technology Company is a USB flash drive factory in Shenzhen, Southern China which was set up in 2008. They have over 12 years of manufacturing and export experience with custom-made USB drives. Over 60% of Yusky's products are custom-made, so we can see the USB drives have a variety of different appearances and materials. It can be a pen, a cartoon character, a credit card, or a keychain, with customer's details and logo. The shell can be made of rubber, plastic, steel, or aluminum. All these products comply with CE and ROSE standards. The factory designs, produces, and tests them internally. How are the different designs made, and how can the factory guarantee the long life and stable quality of the products? We'll take you around their key departments to find out the answers. Initial product creation starts here, at the research and development department, where engineers design 3D drawings of the product based on the customer's requirements or sample. After the drawings are complete, they'll be sent to the mold subcontractor to make the molds. So after the molds are ready, we come here to the injection room where these injection machines create the shape of the USB drive. Here, you can see is the raw material, these plastic pellets. These pellets are fed directly into this drum here where they're fed down into the machine. Then they're melted down. The melted plastic is then injected into the mold where it's pressed and rapidly cools. A robotic arm then removes the fresh shell and drops it into a box. The entire process takes about 30 minutes, from adding the plastic pellets to the first produced unit. There are four injection machines here, and only one person needs to oversee the production output. Each machine can produce 200 sets of the plastic shells per hour, and the machines can operate continuously 24 hours a day, with a daily output of 4,800 sets. After the shells are ready, They'll be sent to the printing and engraving department to have customers printing or engraving added. Here we are in the printing department where they have three different kinds of printing available. Inkjet, UV, and laser printing. There are eight color inkjet machines, one color UV printer, and two laser engraving machines. The inkjet machines are mostly for shells white in color and large sized, such as the credit card shape. Customers' info and photos can be printed on both sides of the shell. Inkjet machines are faster and cheaper to use compared with UV printing, but needs white base color of the shell. Each machine can print 1,000 pieces a day. UV printing can be used for shells with different colors and textures, even black. The UV printer will make a basic imprint in white on the first shell, and then apply the proper color over the top. Obviously, UV printing will be slower and more expensive than inkjet printing since more time and ink are needed. The UV printer can only produce 600 pieces a day, so in general, smaller orders or small imprint sizes will be done by the UV printer. The laser engraving is done mostly on metal shells. Customer info such as logo, website, or slogan will be engraved by a computer-controlled laser engraver. Laser engraving is very fast, with each machine putting out 800 pieces per hour. After the printing is done, the shells will be sent to the assembly area. Before we visit the workshop, we're going to see how the heart of the drive is made, PCB components. The PCB is made in the SMT department, so let's go have a look. All right, so now we're here in the SMT production room where they produce the PCBs, okay? So the engineer here, Mr. Lin, is going to explain to us how that happens. So Mr. Lin, can you tell us what goes on in this room? Firstly, we collect the Cosmos PCB info in the production process drawing. 
Then we set all the proper procedures accordingly in the computer over there. The process is done in two parts. The first part is the automatic solder printing procedure, which is set on the computer of the SMT machine. Then it will be transferred by conveyor from the soldering machine over there to the assembly machine. Initially, the PCBs will be held in the SMT machine and we can start the production now. The automatic solder machine will apply the paste to the PCB here. After that, the PCB will be transferred to the automatic welding section and all the small IC chips, hard drive and resistors will be assembled automatically according to the program. Then, we will get the finished PCBA at the end of the SMT machine. They have two lines here, each with two machines, one that applies soldering paste, another that applies the chips. Each machine can produce about 96,000 PCBs each day. So after the PCBs are finished and put together, the finished chips are sent here for quality testing. The production manager, Ms. Zhang, is going to explain to us how all that works. So Ms. Zhang, can you tell us about how you handle your quality control here and what kind of problems you usually encounter? In here, we perform the quality control of the PCBA parts. We collect 10% of the PCBA and put them into the flash drive testing machines. The formatting of the hard drive capacity, function of copy, read and write, and aging test will be checked here. The higher capacity, the more time is needed. For example, for the 32 gigabyte drive, it takes three hours for the whole inspection procedure. The batch of PCBA will be accepted only if over 98% of the inspected PCBA is qualified. If the rate is under 98%, the PCBA will be sent back to the SMT department for reworking. But it rarely happens due to the stable quality of the SMT machines. The main defect is a bad track sector, so the capacity will be lower than intended, but the drive is still usable. After the PCBA is checked, all the qualified units will be sent to the PCBA warehouse as stock. Let me show you what we do in the assembly department. So after the USB chips pass quality control, some of them are sent here for manual assembly, usually for smaller orders. Here they have about 65 people divided into five teams for different USB drives. Ms. Zhang is going to tell us about how they're assembled and we get our final product. So, Ms. Zhang? Just now we had the PCBA checked in the PCBA quality control department. As I get the production plan, I will get the PCBA's shell and other components from the warehouse. Let me show you how our workers assemble a bullet-shaped USB drive, so you will have a clear idea about the whole process. The PCBA will be sent to the engineer first, where he will format the hard disk and load information and software onto the drive according to the customer's specification, since most of our products are custom made. He will give a fixed name and password to the USB drive, plug and play functionality, and so on. All this information and software cannot be deleted from the drive without the assistance of our engineers. After the engineer's work, our assembly workers will attach a plastic O-ring on the PCBA part. Then she will fix it inside the metal bullet shell by glue and hammer, which has been printed in advance. Then there will be a during production inspection for semi-finished products. Inspectors will check if the drives can be read and work properly. After the inspection, there will be final assembly, appearance check, cleaning and packing of the products. This is just a manual assembly workshop. When we get some high quantity orders, we will do the assembling in the automatic assembly workshop, which is more efficient and requires much less manpower. We'll go there and have a look. So now we're here at the automatic assembly machine. So Ms. Zhang is going to explain to us a little bit how it works. So can you tell us how this machine works? First, the air spray gun will clear the holders, and the conveyors of the machine will transfer the lower shell, PCBA, upper shell, and the metal cover in succession, and all the components will be assembled quickly. Finally, the ready USB drive will be put in the package in order. The machine can work 24 hours per day. Wow, so this machine is really efficient. It can put out 25,000 to 30,000 pieces a day, which replaces about five to six highly skilled workers. 
After the products are packed, the factory will conduct the outgoing quality control process. Factory quality controllers will select the products randomly and perform an inspection according to AQL. After the inspection, the products will be sent to customers in different countries. Today, we also have the chance to talk for a few minutes with the foreign sales director, April Jung. Hi. Hi, I'm April. Welcome to you, Sky. Oh, thank you. I'm Mitch. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for your coming. Great. So we know that you do a lot of custom designed uh, USB drives. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, what kind of advantages your company has over some of your competitors? Uh, Firstly, we have a very good company culture. All of our team members are very young and full of energy and enthusiasm. In the principle of sincere cooperation, pioneering spirit, and people-oriented management, we're making unremitting efforts for success. Secondly, we offer competitive prices and good after-sales service to customers, through which we keep over 95% returning customer rate. Thirdly, we have good cooperation with our suppliers, so we can maintain the stable quality of the components and on-time delivery. Okay. So you mentioned you have good after-sales service for your customers. Yeah. Can you tell us what that means? Sometimes our customer may find some defective products in the shipment. In that case, we will refund or replace the affected items. We'll be responsible for all related costs such as the additional shipping costs, and we're improving after-sales service all the time to ensure that users are worry-free. Okay. So that must make your customers feel very safe. I see. So last question for you. Yeah. How do you keep your prices competitive? Uh, Firstly, we buy a large stock of the outsource components and materials in the low season, so to get them at good prices. Secondly, we have our own injection, printing, and SMT machines, so we can make these components by ourselves, keeping the material costs low and deliveries on time even for rush orders. Thirdly, our stable suppliers are always willing to assist us due to our long-term cooperation and on-time payment record. Okay, great. Thanks, April. That's the end of our visit to USKY Technology. We saw they have several advantages that keep 95% of their customers coming back for more. First is price. They buy large quantities of raw materials during the low season to keep in stock, cut down on lead time and cost. Second is their after sales service. Any defective items will be replaced or refunded even after receipt of the shipment. And third is their custom design. They can produce any kind of design for a lot of different customers complete with a 100% function check. This should keep their customers very happy. So we're giving this factory three stars out of five for their excellent performance. Thank you so much to the USKY team for having us here today and thank you for joining us on our factory tour. If you wanna to see the next factory, click like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.